level up. We have three points. Uh, really, it's really cryo last so so bad. I don't know. It sounds very useful if you ask me. If you ask me, it's very useful. Because it can help me uh, control mobs. I could freeze people. It's like a stasis in the previous game. Ah. Okay. But doesn't the same thing apply to overload? Overload, you can overload anyone? Well, I will, then I will take a warp. Anyway. Okay, okay. Then I'll take warp. But uh, that's what I'm what I'm talking about. Sarin did get implants, and he did uh, have actually implants that could modify his behavior, that could compel him to do something he didn't want to do. But the elusive man flat out refused to do that to Shepard. That is to have the possibility of manipulating Shepard in the future. The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. Yeah, it's true, and he was still capable. He was still very much capable of kicking my ass. I can't have anyone disobeying my commands when we get there. I know who I report to. As long as you don't do anything to betray Cerberus, I'll follow your orders. <laughs> well, <laughs> the the truth is that uh, uh, Soaring could control him directly. Well, I would say th thanks. I will say thanks. I like being alive. I never got a chance to say how much I appreciated what the Lazarus Project did for me. I just hope it was worth it. A lot of people lost their lives on that station. We have to work together here. Your attitude isn't helping anything. I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. Yeah, it's true. You you always feel it in the back of your mind, the Reaper indoctrination, and Shepard never has awareness of that. What can you tell me about this colony we're going to? Freedom's Progress? It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus systems. They had a small military force for protection supplemented by mechs and security drones. Average in almost every way, really. Completely unremarkable until the disappearance. Any thoughts on what we might run into there? A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. I'd like to know more about the Lazarus Project from the person in charge. I wasn't in charge. The elusive man was. If I was running the show, would have done a few things differently. What would you have changed? To start, I would have implanted you with some type of control chip. But the elusive man wouldn't allow it. He was afraid it might affect your personality, alter your character somehow. He wouldn't let us do anything that might limit your potential in any way. Can't say I like the idea of being brought back to life with a control chip in my brain. The elusive man is taking an incredible risk with you. I just hope his gamble pays off. Well, I cannot speak to that, Noob. I haven't played the lair of the shell broker. I don't know what goes on there. I don't know who the shell broker is, really. 
tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No. The elusive man recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age. How old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. Oh, nice, nice. I did read reviews that said it was the best DLC of the bunch. I was trying to get to know you as a human being. I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. Stay focused on the mission. Okay, okay. You're not looking for a friend, then you have found a bitch that will let me slap you. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it or we can do it. Okay. That's how you want to play this Miranda. Then we will play it that way. I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. Cerberus gave me my body back. That's worth giving them a chance. One chance. But you're still not convinced. Do you trust me, Commander? I haven't made up my mind about you yet. At least you're giving me a chance. Most Alliance soldiers hate Cerberus on principle. Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? It's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. You said you served in the Alliance. Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. Technically, we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. We were supposed to be free from restrictions and rules. But there was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. <laughs> Truly, a lion is just, was using privateers, just like the British. <laughs> oh, how funny. Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. The old council was dead, and humanity took control of the new one. But nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Bye. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. Bye, Yasmino. Have a good night. I hope you can sleep more than six hours. That's all for now. Yes, ma'am. Renegade. Paragona. Fuck me. I think I'm going to have the same problem as last time. Yeah, that's interesting. These are actual reports written by the elusive man. Receive uh, 100,000 credits for having a 10 million character. A 10 million credit character. I was worth 10 million. And I got 100. How the fuck? What happened to my riches in the, those two years? I think the elusive man used my own money to fund the Lazarus project. That's what I think. We should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? Uh, that's a big boost. A very big boost, Shrek. What did you find at the other colonies? Nothing. No signs of attack, no corpses, not even a trace of unusual genetic material to give us a clue. They just disappear. We've got no target to go after. Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? We didn't bring you back from the dead just to second guess you, Commander. If the elusive man says you're in charge, you're in charge. Well, of course I am. That's what a commander do. Or what a commander does. A commander commands. Some people obey. That's what happens. What makes you think this investigation will turn up anything new? At other colonies, official investigators got there first. 
Sometimes looters or salvage teams as well. We're hoping to be the first ones there this time. Maybe find clues before somebody else disturbs the scene. We're gonna find out who did this and take them down. Nothing gets in our way. Am I clear? Perfectly, Commander. Good to have you here, Shepard. I think that visor still obscures too much of Shepard's head. But at least we can see the hair. No eyes. No eyes, but at least we can see hair. And it gives me a boost, I think, to... To... To what? Recharge time or something like that? Okay. Let's go. Let's save. I can dial the map. Okay, I will do that. So... You say incendiary ammo.